कोचिंग सेंटर बाय वासुदेव सुनानी अबाउट द पोएट वासुदेव सुनानी इज वन ऑफ द फॉरमोस्ट डैलेट पोएट्स ऑफ ओरिसा ही इज द ऑथर ऑफ फोर कलेक्शन ऑफ पोएट्री अनेका किची घाटी बारा अज छी थिंग्स अ येट टू हैपन नाइनटीन नाइनटी फाइव मैला बना द फॉरेस्ट ऑफ मैला नाइनटीन नाइनटी नाइन Untouchable 2001 and Karadi Hata The Market of Bamboo Shoots 2005 All poems deal with the touching issues of untouchability questioning the very rationale of a society which perpetrates such heinous crimes against humanity Through his poems Sunani performs the twin function annihilation of the hegemonic structure and reconstruction of the same on the foundation of humanity A Dalit voice is noticeable throughout his work. The Dalit focus of Sunani's work does not suggest that no other Oriya poet deals with issues of class discrimination and social injustice. Critical analysis of Coaching Center. Coaching Center is a poem by Basudev Sunani that sheds light on the often overlooked consequences of the coaching industry. particularly in the context of education in india through a evocative language and imagery sunani offers a critical exploration of the impact of coaching centers on students families and society at large in poem coaching center the poet delves into the operation of the caste system and strongly believes that it should end to make an egalitarian society possible In the begging of the poem an engaging note has been given that can also be termed as dialogic and conversational the tone may remind our literature students of duns invocations and abrupt colloquial style such as for god's sake hold your tongue and let me love the poem is made of short and pithy sentences which seem to carry a lot of steam and passion The poem raises the question of untouchability and probes its reasons and justification. In a subtle way, Sunani suggests that untouchability has nothing to do with one being pure or impure. If that was being the case, one could easily take a dip into a flowing stream and get purged of all impurities. Sunani effectively communicates the hollowness of the purity arguments. which are offered to support the caste system he is somehow able to signal to the fact that the caste system has been employed to subjugate and suppress a particular section of society and to create a divisive framework this is what dr b r ambedkar has mentioned bringing in the point that caste system is not a division of labor but a division of laborers going further with the poem we note This is how and why they have remained untouchables over the millennia. No one has been able to decide if untouchability is a color or a touch, a feeling or an ideal. Whether it resides in the one who touches or the one who is touched. Through these lines, the poet is able to delve deeper into the origin and rationale of the caste system. A sense of intrigue is expressed with the perpetual influence of the caste system amidst most other socio-economic changes. These lines simultaneously underline the fixity of this system and also how it has gone unchallenged for all these years without any serious reconsideration. A learned high caste man could start a coaching center and make good money if he could simply teach untouchables how to shake off untouchability with a single dip in water and a change of clothes. The last stanza of the poem offers a piece of advice as to how a person belonging to the upper caste can initiate an entrepreneurial venture in the form of a coaching center to wipe off untouchability. This is also acceptance of the fact that caste still has not gone away. The usage of the word learned is satirical and calls for an urgent change in the conventional ways and thinking in untouchability. Here is a critical appreciation of the poem. Cultural context and social realism 
coaching center emerges from the socio-cultural milieu of India, where the coaching industry has burgeoned into a multi-billion dollar enterprise. In the fiercely competitive landscape of Indian education, where students vie for coveted spots in prestigious universities and government jobs, coaching centers have proliferated as essential supplements to formal schooling. Sunani's poem serves as a lens through which to examine the social realities and pressures faced by students within this context. Psychological Impact on Students Sunani adeptly captures the psychological toll exacted on students by the relentless pursuit of academic excellence. The poem portrays students as weary participants in a grueling marathon, driven not by a love for learning but by the fear of failure and societal expectations. Sunani's portrayal humanizes these students, inviting readers to empathize with their struggles and recognize the emotional weight they carry. Commercialization of Education The poem serves as a scathing indictment of the commercialization of education and the prioritization of profit over pedagogy. Sunani critiques the exploitative nature of coaching centers, which capitalize on students' anxieties and perpetuate the myth that success is contingent upon enrollment in their programs. Through his portrayal of cramped classrooms and fluorescent lit corridors, Sunani underscores the dehumanizing effects of an education system driven by market forces. Examination of societal values Coaching Center prompts readers to interrogate prevailing societal values and priorities. Sunani challenges the notion that academic success is the sole determinant of an individual's worth or potential. By highlighting the toll exacted on students' mental health and well-being, the poem underscores the need for a more holistic understanding of success, one that encompasses personal fulfillment, creativity, and emotional resilience. Advocacy for educational reform, ultimately, Coaching Center, serves as a call to action, urging readers to advocate for meaningful educational reform. Sunani's critique of the coaching industry extends beyond mere condemnation. It seeks to provoke reflection and dialogue around alternative models of education that prioritize student well-being, critical thinking, and holistic development. Through his poetry, Sunani invites readers to envision a more equitable and compassionate educational system, one that empowers students to thrive both academically and personally. Themes of the Poem the poem, Coaching Center, by Basudev Sunani explores several themes that shed light on the societal pressures and consequences of the coaching industry in India. Here are the prominent themes present in the poem. Educational pressure and competition. The poem delves into the intense pressure and competition that students face within the coaching system. It portrays the coaching center as a battleground where students struggle to excel academically, driven by societal expectations and the desire for success. This theme highlights the detrimental effects of a hyper-competitive educational environment on students' mental health and well-being. Commercialization of Education Coaching Center critiques the commercialization of education depicting coaching centers as profit-driven enterprises that exploit students' fears and insecurities. The poem highlights the commodification of knowledge and the prioritization of financial gain over pedagogical principles, emphasizing the dehumanizing effects of an education system driven by market forces. Alienation and Isolation the poem portrays students within the coaching system as isolated and alienated, trapped in a cycle of relentless studying and competition. It evokes a sense of claustrophobia and suffocation, emphasizing the loneliness and emotional toll of the coaching environment.
This theme underscores the social and psychological isolation experienced by students within a system that prioritizes individual achievement over collective well-being. Societal expectations and norms, coaching center, also explores the societal expectations and norms that drive students to enroll in coaching centers. It critiques the prevailing belief that academic success is the sole measure of an individual's worth, highlighting the pressure placed on students to conform to narrow definitions of success. This theme prompts reflection on the impact of societal expectations on individual autonomy and mental health. Quest for alternative paths to success, amidst the critique of the coaching industry, the poem suggests a quest for alternative paths to success and fulfillment. It calls into question the narrow focus on academic achievement and encourages readers to reconsider the value of personal growth, creativity, and emotional well-being. This theme underscores the importance of reimagining educational paradigms that prioritize holistic development and individual flourishing. Coaching Center, by Basudev Sunani explores themes of educational pressure, commercialization, alienation, societal expectations, and the quest for alternative paths to success. Through its evocative portrayal of the coaching industry, the poem prompts reflection on the societal pressures faced by students and the need for systemic change within the education system. It serves as a critique of the prevailing educational norms and a call to prioritize the well-being and holistic development of students. In conclusion, Coaching Center by Basudev Sunani is a powerful work of social commentary that sheds light on the complex interplay of societal pressures, commercial interests, and individual aspirations within the realm of education. Through his evocative language and incisive critique, Sunani challenges readers to confront the realities of the coaching industry and to advocate for systemic change in pursuit of a more just and humane educational landscape.